Well, if you've been watching my recent videos, you'll know that I got interrupted with my painting today because the internet guy was going to be here uh, to get Momi's computer hooked up, her modem hooked up, her her phone hooked up, her computer hooked up, her printer hooked up so that she could also have the fax machine running and for our TVs to get hooked up. Now what's going on here? I don't think anything happened today and I wonder why. Well that's what this video is going to be about. Okay there's the TV. Maybe we still got everything coming out of the walls. All kinds of different coaxial cables. Here's a coaxial cable that's coming up way up high. Here, here's another one, a doubler that's coming out of one wire. Here's, an, here's another one over there. And um, let's just, I'm going to walk you around a little bit. I hope you've got your popcorn and your coffee ready or your popcorn bowl. Here's, here's the cable. Look at this. He gave me, oh, I don't know, 150 feet because there's something I got to do for him before he comes back. Ah, and can you believe that? He could not, he could not get this one to work. He, he hooked up, he even hooked up another a special fitting down here and he was going to, he was going to put that in. He, he wasn't getting this proper readings off of here and, and all that. And that goes down into the garage. Let's, let's, let's just kind of walk around here. Here's a, here's a couple other ones. Okay, he couldn't get either one of those to work. And look where it's, it's in the closet. It goes up. Boom, it goes up here. It looks like it goes up above the attic. Well, can you believe that this area right here, um, this is a guest bedroom. Here's the guest bedroom closet. It's got a flat ceiling. Here's a little area. It's got a flat ceiling. Here's the bathroom. It's got a little flat ceiling. And do you know there's no way that he can access the attic or I can access the attic in that area. That's a no-no too. So I know somebody's done some remodeling here and because no building inspector will allow you to block off any attic area. Every attic area has to be accessible somehow. Okay. And, and this closet, this closet should really have an access uh, crawl hole right here or in the bathroom. Usually they don't put them in the bathroom. I would not suggest putting it in the bathroom. If you've got a closet, put it in the closet. Nothing. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Let's, let's walk over here. So there's, there's cable connections over there. Here's some cable connections over here. Okay. None of them are working properly. He couldn't get a good signal there. He couldn't get a good signal there. He couldn't get a good signal there. And we look at that, at that high one, and it comes out of the wall and it goes down and then there's another wire over there you can't really see it but there's another wire that goes up on the roof okay just keep that in mind we're going to figure this out you and I are going to figure this out and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with all that cable okay I'm taking my time and if you want to know what's going on you will watch the rest of this video that's just how that's just how I'm going to do it, okay? Now, here's, here's, some other, here's some other cables that are inside the condo. Here's some here. Now, those two actually go outside. And let's just, let's just walk out there real quick. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're right on the river. <laughs> Ah, oh, we got some Canadian geese here too. Look at them. Sometimes we'll see, uh, I've seen like 18 out here at one time in a little flock and then they fly off. And then we've got some other, we've got some other mallards. Those are mallards there. And then there's some other ducks that come along here and they dive down and they feed down along the bottom. That looks kind of cool when they're doing that. But onward, they're saying, hey, Onward, Joe, get on with it. Come on. This is ridiculous. Okay, so those two those two coaxial cables go out of there. That's just a junction box. There they go. Oh, they're just stopping there. That's just a junction box for those two. And see they go they go right up here. 
Look at that. One of those goes into the into the uh, master bedroom up there, up high on the wall. One goes up on the roof. Like what? What's going on? What's going on up up there at the roof, Joe? Well, let's just keep. Let's. We'll. we'll I'll get to that. Okay. So there's there's another connection. When the condo was built 15 years ago, that was there. That was not there. That was cut in and installed later for the ones that go up there, okay? That, so that one on the wall is existing. And then, uh, I'm, just, I'm just showing you, I'm, I know, I'm going back up the stairs. I gotta go out into the garage, but I'm, sh I'm showing you the existing ones in the condo, okay? That was one existing one in the condo. This, this was existing in the condo, okay? That's why he was trying to hook up to there to get our main power feed up, up into here because this is where she wants to set up her desk in the in the spare bedroom. We're either gonna set it up there or she may even she may even install a small little desk in the closet. Maybe we don't install the closet shelves or we just have one closet shelf pull up high or something like that. And she can work out of the closet or I can I can be in there with my laptop. Okay, so this is this is an option for her if there's not enough room to get a nice little desk unit here to get all of her stuff here. I mean, we could take the bed, slide the bed over so that this area is smaller so that she gets a little bit more room here. The other thought was, hey, even though the bedroom is set up to where the bed faces this direction, okay, Mommy had a good idea. She, th she said, and here's the entrance here. Okay, she said, hey, we could flip this bed around. We could have the headboard on this wall facing this direction, right? And then just have a nightstand over there. So we only have a, a two and a half, uh, three foot area up against the wall. So you have to walk around the bed to, to get over there. So that's an option. Then the edge of the bed would be over here, but it would be over this direction, making this area a little bit larger um, for her to get a nice little desk unit in here or whatever's. Okay, so back to this. This is this. This is the second existing location in the condo. Okay, this was not here. This was cut in and installed later. See this little metal box. See the flap. That was cut in and installed later. We look at those two wires. Remember, I showed you that was was coming into the closet. This was stapled up against the wall. I just undid the staple so that I could paint in there. Didn't I do a good job not getting any paint on these? I got the. Got the uh, door frame nicely painted, got the wall nicely painted and cut in. Looks clean, man. Anyways, those, those go up and those go up into this attic and they probably go up on the roof too, okay? So, so far we got two existing locations. That one, the one downstairs. Now let's go into the master bedroom. Find the existing location in the condo, okay? This right here was the existing one in the condo but son of a gun he cannot get this one to work either okay this was cut in and well, actually this could have been in the condo initially but uh somebody could have cut that in you know what i think they cut it in it's not in a cut in box but they did something funky they, they cut the back of the box out Okay, out of a junction box, and they screwed it in. I remember. See, there's a screw, there's a screw. There's a stud right there. And they screwed the box into the side. So that's a cut-in box. And this uh, just happened to be um, new, well, it wasn't existing. Okay, so where does this one go? We have no idea where it goes, but it's going up. And it looks like somebody installed that after the fact. And there could be another, I'm not gotten out there, but there could be another junction box on the wall, kind of like downstairs for, for, for that, where they came up and across. For all I know, maybe, they, maybe there is. And there's a blank plate on it. Well, that, that other wire goes across and that goes down. That goes downstairs to that other area off the deck. And then one wire, from off the deck goes up above. And when the cable guy got here, we, we actually want cable. 
we don't want to use a dish or an antenna, you know, a, a round antenna dish or anything like that. But the last person here, apparently they use the antenna dish. They came out and they hooked up their TV and different things that way. But we don't want to do that. We want to use the cable that comes in from the street. So that way our cable and our TV and the internet is all interconnected that way. Okay, so we'd like to use something. So, so the cable guy, he comes in here and he's got to figure out which one of these wires goes to where and which ones um, are activated and whether or not there's any not activated. Let's go downstairs into the garage. Okay, we'll look, we'll look down there and see. Um, usually you'll have your internet connection inside the garage, outside the garage, attached to the wall or something like that. But this, this happens to be in a condo complex and so they don't want anything attached to the outside of the wall. They had a blank plate, just like that one. Just like that one there on here. Well, when the guy took it off, he broke it. Poor thing, it snapped off. It was right there. He had all these cables in there, right? So the one that went out to the street was this one. It's in a plastic conduit, so you know that's coming in from the street. He attached, he attached everything from there and then there was four other wires four other cables coming into this box coming out of this box two of the cables are thinner these two right here are thinner than these two now why is that he said oh they use cable 69 or whatever years ago they used a thinner cable and they don't use that stuff anymore but that's the ones that are going up up in our walls well he couldn't get good connections he even cut he even cut off the ends he cut off the ends and put put different uh, connection ends on there did you know on coaxial cables there's like two or three different little connections in here and one means one thing means the TV one means uh, telephones one means internet did you know all that I didn't I thought a coaxial cable was a coaxial cable and you just you just cut it and I put ends on before years ago for uh, like an antenna on a house, you know, the old school antennas before they had the dish and be, be, before all that cable TV and all that kind of stuff. I just cut it and put it on there. I didn't know any different, uh, but it, it seemed to work, I thought at the time anyways. But anyways, he took his readings. He could not get any good connections. He was here over three hours. Can you believe that? So keep this in mind, okay? This is in the garage. We'll go back up here. We'll go back up here. And um, he took he took his he took his uh, his wire connection and he put it up there. He wasn't getting a good reading, and it and it timed out after X amount of uh, minutes, and it didn't go to 100% and all that kind of stuff. And so he's racking his brain, what to do, what to do. And I was racking my brain too. This was, this was a thought. When you're doing cable TV, okay, let's talk about that for a minute. We got the cable coming in, and initially, if you were with me at the first part of this, of this uh, uh, project, you would have known that this whole area had carpet in it, and then it stopped here, and then it had oak flooring. Well, we, we, we just recently got the uh, vinyl flooring planking installed. Doesn't it look good? And when I was taking out the carpet and the carpet tack strip and the carpet pad and everything, they had, as I remember, they had a coaxial cable screwed onto one of these, okay? And then it went down underneath the carpet along where the carpet tack strip was. Boom, 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 boom. And they had the TV over here. Boom. Well, that's how they had to do it because they were using the dish. They weren't using this on the interior. They were using a dish uh, network or, or something, okay? Up on the roof. These were coming down from the roof. They were there. They wanted their TV there. Well, that was a good fix. They decided to do that. I don't know if they pulled the carpet up and then they ran the, the wire through there and then they restretched the carpet or if it was installed before the carpet, the new carpet was installed you know, three or four years ago on the, the last person, or if they tried to shove it down there after the fact, and they pushed it all in there and got it up here. Well, what am I supposed to do now? 
If I want a ca cable TV, and I want the, I want the TV over there. I, I'm stressing, like, how am I supposed to get that over there? I was thinking I was going to have to drill a hole. This is a subfloor, and, and there's a crawl space underneath here. I was going to take a flexi bit, drill a hole from there, down through the, through, the, um, through the junction box, maybe take the junction box off the wall, drill a hole, fish, the, fish a new coaxial cable up, fish it down over here, cut, put a cut-in box over here, drill another hole with my flexi bit, drill bit, drill it down there, fish a wire from there up over to here, put it all in, and I'm thinking, you know, this is an exterior wall. I don't know if I can do that. And then I was thinking about doing it over here, and there's a gas pipe out there, there's a water pipe out there, and I'm like, you know, this is up kind of high, and there's a block in the way there, and I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to drill that. And, but I don't have to drill a hole there. You know why? Because on most cable TVs nowadays, um, well, here's the thing. You, you, wherever you have your main TV, your main power coming in, the TV that you want your cable box on, okay? You decide where you want that. It doesn't have to be in this room. It can be, a, it can be in your, in your uh, guest bedroom. It could be in your master bedroom. It could be wherever you want it to be, right? And that particular TV, if you got, a, if you got a, a, the TV box that you, that you hook your TV to, okay, your main one, that main one, did you know all your other TVs in your condo, in your house, um, you can stream off of the one main TV where you got your cable box, okay? The only thing is if we had the TV here and if we had the main cable coming from there over to here and boom, 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 this would be the only TV in this room that you can record things off of. And then if you wanted to watch that recording, Hear me out here, if you wanted to watch that recording of whatever series was on TV or Netflix or Hulu or whatever, Prime, and it, you, you do a recording, that's the only TV you can watch that recording from, okay? Even though your other TVs are streaming from there, on upstairs, in the back bedrooms, wherever, you can't get the recording of your program. And if you're streaming like that, all those other TVs only have to be plugged into an electrical outlet. Okay, such as this. And then the TV streams from this TV, but you can't record from these other TVs that are just plugged in, okay? And you can't get the recording from whatever you got off that TV. Does that all make sense? Now, and you have to have a smart TV or you have to have a TV that says Roku on it. And if you don't, you can buy a little zip strip thing of, from Roku and you can plug that into your TV upstairs that's not a Roku TV and you still have that little Roku and then that can stream down to your other TV. Does that all make sense? Okay, so hear me out here because we're trying to figure this all out, right? Okay, so obviously it's not gonna be in, in, in this room even if we were to get this cable connection hooked up. We know this is the main cable for, from the place. We know those go up to the roof. We can't, we can't access anything from the roof because that's from an antenna dish okay we don't want the dish we we want to do we want to use the cables in the condo and that are coming from the straight because um we want everything together and mommy uses this particular company all the time anyway so so we want the cables okay so let's let's look at other locations where that cable could go okay that's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're just, you know, you're eating your popcorn now, you're sitting back relaxing in your favorite armchair and you're figuring this thing out with Joe. All right, Here, here's our, here's our, uh, our master bedroom, okay? Here's a TV that we just have plugged into the wall because we wanted to make sure that everything was gonna work after he got everything connected. So we know those, those two go out and they go up on the roof. We can't use those. We could, we could have possibly used this connection, okay? Had that one worked, we could have the main TV in here. That's what initially we were hoping to have. 
is we were hoping to have this particular TV be the one, a big TV, to be the one that we can record off of, that the internet box would be on there. Now, incidentally, if you wanted all your other TVs to be able to record certain things, you'd have to get an internet box. You'd have to pay extra, like 19, 20 bucks a month for every single box for all your other TVs in your house. That doesn't make sense. If you got five TVs, you're gonna spend an extra, you know, you're already paying for one. You got four more TVs at 20 bucks a pop per month. That's another 80 bucks just so that you can, you can uh, uh, tape and record a TV show in the other rooms. No, forget that. Just stream it to your one box, okay? So, here, so we wanted it right here, but we also wanted another connection where Momi's gonna put her computer and stuff, okay? So, so keep, this in, keep this in mind right here. That's where we wanted it recording uh, for TV shows, and then we wanted her internet connection all in this room here. This is the spare bedroom. This is just a tight, small little condo. Okay, she, she's going to hook up her computer. She's got a modem for the computer. She's got a phone that hooks up, uh, hooks up for a fax or for, for incoming phone calls. Now, granted, we don't even use a phone anymore. But did you know, <laughs> for her to get the internet stream for her to get the, the the internet it was cheaper for her to pay extra for a phone and and uh what do you call it bundle it together than to just have the internet connection isn't that crazy because i told her later i don't you know who faxes anymore you don't have to fax anymore you can you can do all that through the computer and stuff you don't need a fax machine anymore and you don't need you don't need a printer to do your fax and get it interconnected with all this other stuff. I said, that's hogwash. Just call them up and tell them to get rid of the phone. She called them up and she said, well, for me to get rid of the phone, it's going to cost more per month than if I had a phone. Okay, whatever. So she's got that. It rings all the time with junk mail and different things. She's used a fax. Oh, I don't know. We've used a fax maybe four or five times. But anyways, so that's got to be hooked up through the through the router, through their modem, through the computer, and then she's got her, her printer that has to be connected to, the, to that and all that, okay? So, so and we're going to have a TV in here, okay? For whoever stays here, right? Okay, so now, he couldn't, and so there's the connection for that. So in reality, we, we, we wanted this coaxial cable for the connection for the, for the phone, and, and her internet connection, right? We only wanted that there because we, we, wanted, we wanted the main TV, we wanted the cable coming out of the wall over here to, to work too, so that that would work the TV, and then we're gonna take their TV box, you know, that comes with the cable TV company, and we're gonna plug it in here so that we could record programs off of that. Got it so far? TV we wanted hooked up there, internet connection we wanted hooked up there. But mm, things aren't things aren't always. We don't live in a perfect world, do we? If we did, I could just say Bing Bang Boom and it would work. Well, this one he's not getting good connection with. This other one in this other room he's not getting good connection with. And try as he might, he was here three over three hours, three and a half hours. All of his testing would not work. He's scratching his head. There's four, there's four coaxial cables coming into the condo. He can only locate um, two, maybe three that go into the condo. He's like, where's the other ones? The, somebody had to sabotage this when they were doing a remodel or something, at, or they're up in the attic that's inaccessible with, uh, with a splitter that maybe it's not split properly, that's not hooked up properly. And here's the other thing. When they installed these coaxial cables in the condo, this condo is like 15 years old. When they installed it all, they might have, somebody might have put a nail, uh, you know, it could have been stapled next to a stud and whoever installed the sheetrock, they put a nail through it because they missed the stud or a screw through it. Or uh, maybe, maybe when they put 
when, when they stapled this next to the stud, um, somewhere up in the wall, up in the ceiling, somewhere, uh, maybe they nailed the staple too tight and it's pressing on this so much that it's kinking one of the, the things and he's not getting a good reading. He's not getting an overall good reading on it. I mean, it could be all kinds of things. So all of the, all the wires that are coming out, the cables that are coming out in the garage, none of them are getting a good reading. And he's only able to locate a couple in, in the condo. He's got this one here, the one over there in the master bedroom, and the one downstairs. And, and he's not getting any good readings off any of them. Because I told him, I said, hey, in reality, we could, this is the, this is the um, guest bedroom, we could, we only need one main connection. If you, had, if you can get this one to work, we can put the TV in here that has the box, we can record her favorite shows in this room. If she wants to watch her favorite shows that are recorded or her favorite uh, series on, on Netflix or something like that, if she wants to record something like that that's not, uh, that she can't find directly through Netflix without recording it first, she can just lay, she can lay up here and watch her favorite recordings, okay? No biggie. And then, and then the other TV that we have over here, we'll just have to make sure it's a streaming TV, it's a smart TV, it's something that can stream, that can read from there, a Roku. I don't even know if you ha have to have Roku. As long as it says smart TV, as long as it can stream over to another TV where your main computer uh, cable connections are coming into the house or condo, um, and you have the box over here, then, then it will work. Because see, all these other locations, all we need over, over here, all we have to do is plug the TV into the wall, into an electrical outlet, just like that. That's all you have to do. I mean, obviously, we push the wire down there and we get it all redirected. This isn't even the TV that's going to go there. This was initially going to be the TV that we were going to put over in the spare bedroom. Okay, the guest room and it still will be we're gonna put a bigger one over here we just had it plugged over in here so when the cable guy came he was gonna put the cable box over here plug it in make sure the TV works yeah 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 and then when we get the other TV we're gonna put that one over here okay but you just have a TV that plugs into the wall and the one downstairs just plugs into the wall and then this one up here would be the one with the main cable connection okay and so that's how we were gonna do it but alas He's like, hey, we can't find a good connection. What are you going to do? Well, we've got to somehow, we've got to get a cable from here that goes and, and installed without making a mess of the walls and stuff that goes and connects down into the garage. Okay? And so he was like, he was like how are we going to do that? This wall does not line up with the garage wall. The garage wall is about from here that way because this cantilever is over on the second floor. It doesn't line up with the first floor wall. So we can't we can't access this to the garage. The garage wall is about right in here. Does that make sense? And the garage can't this second floor wall cantilevers the garage by about three feet. So we can't access access the garage here either. Because I was going to cut a cut-in box in here, drill a hole, fish, a wi fish the wire down there into the garage. Boom! And then bring it up through that, route it along the baseboard. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Can't do that. So, we're looking in the garage. So, what do you suppose I'm going to have to do? Well, the bed's right here. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do, the garage off of this wall, it, it's about three feet over to where the garage door is. Okay, then we're inside the garage. Okay, so let's let's go down there into the garage and kind of think about this, figure out what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to have to do it. Are you ever going to run into something like this? You may, you may. I mean, none of the cable wires in the condo are working. Okay, so how to do it without making a mess of everything and cutting up open ceilings and walls and doing all that. As you saw, I'm, I'm getting done painting. My word. I don't want to do all that. 
see here here's the here's the wires coming out okay well i know this wall is the tenant separation wall between us and the next condo this wall here okay and the bedroom you see you see out there see the wall that's the bedroom wall so the garage is back set about three feet where i was showing you upstairs so so three feet over and then we got the bed right if we're just imagining this thing okay so so now that's this wall that's this wall kaboom so what i'm thinking about doing is and then it's got this inset thing here i i have no idea what's going on with that see they, they probably got different wood in there and they they frame that out this this little soffit thing is to accept that and uh it runs across i don't think there's anything in there i don't think there's any wiring or anything in there this happens to be the electrical panel which is outside they they furred it out into the garage because it's right next it's right next to the front door and they they were able to do that because they inset it into the wall we'll just show that very briefly see how they did that that kind of slick they did that and it's right here they couldn't make it flush because they didn't want that sticking out so somebody can whack their head on it or whatever so because i was wondering in the garage what was that what is that thing bumped out is there a concrete column in the wall or a post you know see it see how it bulges out see how they for they built that out that's because that's inset further than the th thickness of that wall okay so anyways i got to get the cables over to here and um how to do that so where the bedroom is I, i'm gonna shall we start from the bedroom well i'm gonna have to cut a junction box in here to put a, a, a plate on there inside this wall between the wall cavities you got you got uh you know two by fours every 16 inch centers and um you probably got a double plate up there i'm not quite sure then you've got the garage door that rolls up here and so i'm not sure if i got enough room above the garage and below that soffit to, to cut in a cut in box up there i might do some probing to figure that out worst case scenario if i don't i i can i can cut it down below that and then when the cable comes out of there then I can fish it up. They can staple it. Boom, boom, boom. Staple it, staple it, staple it. Along there, up, up through there, across, down the wall over here, down at the bottom or something, and then back up. They can either do that or... Uh, see, I was thinking about cutting the cut-in box up here and then having them fish it into the cut-in box and then fish it down. I could still do that. They, could, they, they will come across... Uh, at the bottom of that soffit straight across surface mounted and then it would go into a, a, a cut-in box there and then I would fish it down the wall between the studs I got to see the next stud bay is probably over there it's probably 16 inches 14 and a half inches right in here and and um, I could cut it up high fish a fish uh, something down through there if there's not a there's probably fire block in there too See, I was trying to do it without, without having it exposed too far. Um, they could come across and across like this and, and over and then in, into that box. You know, I put a, a, a cover plate, a, a two-gang cover plate like that, the one that he broke, drill a hole in it so that the cable just goes right into there. Do you see what I mean? Then they make all the connections up in, in, into there. And then that cable... Would, would connect up to the one that's coming from the street, which is this one. And they put a connection on there. They got a ground wire in there and a connection and all that kind of stuff. And then that's the only one that's going to feed this entire uh, place because we're going we're gonna to have the TV up in that room. We're going to have the internet connection for, for internet and, and telephone and all that kind of stuff. So see from there, it goes up across. Boom, 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 boom right here into a cut-in junction box with a round hole on the plate this is going to be one continuous wire okay then it's going to go up into the wall okay now let's see if you visualize this let's see what's going to happen now i've got to do some measuring and holding my breath when i drill 
make sure I don't hit a wire, or plumbing pipe, or who knows, you know. Then I've got to come up here, and remember, off of this wall, the garage wall is about two and a half, three feet over, which is prob probably about there, okay? So then, you know, technically I could measure from there over, leave the bed exactly where it is. I could cut a cut-in box. Boom, the same height as the electrical outlet, the telephone jack, which we're not using, that type of internet connection. Okay, another box right here, right there, with a blank plate on it. I cut that hole, drill with the flexi bit, boom, down through the floor, down into the ceiling, and then, and then six inches lower than the floor, or eight inches lower than the floor, it's going to come out below that soffit. Remember where the garage doors bracket is held up? cut another hole there so when it comes up in the wall it's going to come up through the bottom of the floor come up in out of this box then out of the box it's going to have to zip across that way so we're going to have an exposed um, coaxial cable black coaxial cable going across or, or it's going to come down and it's going to go down to the carpet along the carpet along the baseboard kaboom 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 along the baseboard, or down, sandwiched down there, because you remember the baseboard is up about, oh, uh, what is it, half inch, or five-eighths of an inch above the subfloor. So if I can wedge it down in there, I can get it nice and carefully so we don't have to see it exposed, right? Boom, 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 boom. And that one wire is actually going to stop about in here somewhere because we're going to have the, we're going to have the TV connected on top of a desk or something, table, something right there. And then out of that, they could put a splitter with another cable coming out of there to go wherever her computer connection is going to be. If she has a desk unit here, then we only need one there, and then they stop, and then there's another little wire that goes up to the TV out of a splitter box, and then there's another wire that goes over here to her modem and their cable connection box. If she decides to put this stuff in here, this door swings open and so her desk would have to be up against that back wall and it's not a very big room. So I, I don't know if she's going to want to be in here or not, but if she does and the TV's here, then out of the splitter there'll be a longer uh, coaxial cable for her internet connection. Boom! Along there, underneath the door, cross, cross, over here, over here, and then up to her desk or down below. Uh, all of her connections will come up, connect into the modem box and all that kind of stuff. So that's why he left all this wire here. He, he, he was like, he, he, you know what his idea was? He was going to take a bit and drill it right between the carpet and the baseboard. Now mind you, this carpet folds under the baseboard. So no matter what you do, you're gonna goober up the bottom of the baseboard or you're gonna, you're gonna rip some strands of the carpet out. I mean, properly you should pull the carpet back so the carpet strands are not in your way when you're drilling with this twist, twist drill bit. And then, if he, and then if he drilled, if he drilled right here, he'd have to drill almost at a straight up and down angle because if he drills too much of an angle there it's actually um, not going to be accessible down below because you're going to be inside the wall you're not going to be on the outside of the wall so you'd have to drill this hole right in here somewhere you know cut the, cut it square out of the carpet just a little square you know big enough to get his drill bit down in there big enough for your your coaxial cable right drill a hole boom and then it would be, and then it would be on the outside of the wall of the garage. You see what I'm saying? And then the cable would come up here, and then you could bend it over to here, and and see my fingers underneath the baseboard right there. See? And then you could fish it under there carefully, fish it underneath the bed. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I didn't, I didn't really want him to do that. And he said, Well, then I can't do it today. 
I said, yeah, I realize that. You're going to have to come back. And so I'm going to take the time to do it right, to make it look right. Now, see, I don't really want to put a blank plate there with the coaxial cable coming down. I, you know, if I'm going to do this, I might as well do it right. I don't want to have a black coaxial cable going down there and having somebody say, what's that for? So, yes, what do you suppose I'm going to have to do? Well, I'm probably going to have to move the bed. I'll have to move that, then I can slide this over, you know, a couple inches at a time, a couple inches at a time, back and forth I go, where I stop, nobody knows except me, but this edge is, would be over here, so I'd slide the whole, whole bed over, that way I, I could move it over two and a half feet, because you remember the garage end of the garage, where the garage door is, is about right here, right? Well, I move that over. If we were to keep the bed in this position, then I would uh, be able to cut cut a uh, cut in box in behind the bed, which is gonna which would be right in here somewhere. And then out of that, come down so nobody sees it. Then zip it across. Okay. But if she were to ever flip the bed around, my word, I'm gonna have to talk to her. If we flip the bed around. No matter where I put it along that back wall, you're going to see the coaxial cable, right? Um, if, the, if the headboard goes over here, that would actually be pretty good, depending what kind of desk, and if she decides to put her desk unit over here, need enough room between the desk to, to walk in through this area to get into bed and all that kind of stuff. Granted, it's just for guests. We're not going to use the bed much, but... If we do that, then it would make sense to flip this bed around, wouldn't it? Up against this wall. So, uh, there's no way I want to drill from over here and try to come up here. Because I'm not against, I'm not on the outside of the garage wall here. The tenant separation wall is this one between us and the next, the next owner. Okay, so if I were to drill right here, I'm, I'm drilling right up and the wires are going to be coming out of the ceiling and then and then it's going to have to be zipped over and then across boom 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 i'd rather have it come out of a junction box uh below the ceiling and over by the garage door rail so to speak you know what i mean as the garage door comes up it'll be over there and then you'll see it kaboom kaboom up and across and across and and over and down you know downstairs like i was showing you so he left me <laughs> he left me plenty of coaxial cable. He's, I probably got 150 feet there, and I'm, I may only need 80, 90 feet, but whenever they come back out here, see, I'll have that wire one continuous piece, okay? It's not going to terminate out of there, okay? When I pull it out through there or fish it down, I want enough wire to zip all around here, and, and I can do all this and push all the wire down and have the wire stop there with the rest of the roll sitting right here you see what i'm saying and then it will continue it will continue down it will continue the wire i'll have it long enough wire to hook it up down by the garage wall and and that will all be done then i can call them up and tell them to come back out here then they can terminate that end and they can do the splitter and do whatever they have to do and by that time we'll have figured out exactly where she wants the location of uh, her desk if she's going to put a little funky thing in here or if she's going to put it here i think she's going to want it over here in the light and uh maybe figure some nice little uh, small desk unit there and uh and, and do that so we may i may not have to fish it in here i got plenty of wire i, I probably have 50 extra feet well they can they can take that back and they can use it for for little um, extension pieces, you know, in their next job, from the wall to a TV, from the wall of fishing it over to uh, the, a computer, whatever. So it's not like it's not like they can't use that for something else. Okay. So man, that's that's what my dilemma was today. And um, of course, I was supposed to be painting door frames today, but I don't think I'm going to get to it. And and so now I got to make myself a material list of the cut-in boxes I need, the cover, the cover plates. Instead of a blank plate, instead of a blank plate like this, I'm gonna get one that's got a hole in it, you know, for a coaxial cable. And and then I, after 
I installed a box, then I'll have to fish the uh, coaxial cable through that and um, and continue it over to the next place, over to the next, over to the next. And so, see, I've got I've got uh, a cut-in box here and, and a plate with a hole in it here. And down in the garage, I, I've got one or two locations. I'll have to really think about how I want them to, to bring that wire in from uh, the garage into that into that uh, location where they're at now and then the location where they're at of course that wire that cable has to come through there so what can I do um, with the two gang blank plate I could lift it up and they could sneak it in through the top through the bottom through the side or I could drill a hole right through the middle of it or whatever so that the wire can go in that way if I want to do something like that, because you can't get it, you can't get a two gang. This is a single gang blank plate. You can't get a two gang blank plate with a hole in it. I don't think I've never seen them, so I have to drill that by myself, or, or uh, we'll, we'll figure that out later. But that that's my next one of my next projects coming up, and I'll, I'll make a video of how I'm going to access that you know cutting it in drilling the hole and all that kind of stuff fishing the wire through there I've got to do that before they come back out here to hook us all up and then of course um, We've got to call and schedule them again. So I got the guy's name. I got his I got his badge number I'm gonna ask for him to come out because he's the one who knows what's going on if he doesn't come out That's okay. Somebody else can come out. I can tell them what to do and I asked the guy I said don't close our order out can you keep it open to say uh, we're going to be calling after we run the the wire and after the owner runs the wire and stuff like that um, so that hopefully when we call back they don't put us at the end of the 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 line and say oh we can't get there for another week hopefully they can expedite it and, and as soon as we say we can get you we want you back out. Hopefully they can schedule us within the next couple days because we need to get moved in here and This is holding me up from finishing my painting Mommy wants me to take care of this next thing on my plate So I'm gonna make a list and I'm gonna get out of here and next time I'm here. I'm gonna start Figuring this out and making some videos of that watch that if you're curious how This is all gonna work, but I think you got it and for me right now, it's time to go. So thanks so much for watching this video. Here's a couple other things we had to, we had to really think about. Even if, even if I were to drill a hole through the carpet, cut the carpet out, you know, and put it in about right there, cut a little square hole there big enough to get the drill bit in there, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lodged into that little soffit in the garage and that that soffit might be full of wood who knows and so see i still have to would have to fish it out of there and uh cut an inspection hole put a cover cut in box up upside down on the um the soffit and hope that uh there's enough room to put the cut in box in there and fish the wire out through that and and all that kind of stuff i don't really want to do that i want to do it right and see at first, we were thinking this was the exterior wall. This is where the garage ended. Well, that's not the case. This cantilever's over. The garage stops about right here. Then, then I was thinking, okay, I, let's just drill a hole from here. I could put a cutting box, drill a hole, fish the wire down through there. Then I went outside. So Got to check everything out. And, and that's when I realized, oh, this wall was cantilevered over the garage by about three feet. So you don't want to start doing things really quick like and find out you just drilled a hole through your ceiling downstairs. You drilled a hole outside in the soffit around your, your uh, wall. Now you got to patch that. So take some time. Think about it and go for it.